Welcome guys to your Gaming Techies VR show, a show where we look at PC VR, PSVR, and mobile VR, so you guys don't have to waste your time and money. And today, we're looking at a game on the quest called Racket Fury Table Tennis. This is an arcade-style ping-pong game that is actually out on the quest, and it's a game that I very much have liked when it was on the Rift, and now it's been ported over to the quest. Does it hold up on the Oculus Quest? Let's go ahead and find out. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, here we are in the Oculus Quest with Racket Fury Table Tennis, obviously a ping pong game. We're here at the main menu, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of how this game works. You can see here that you can actually change the simulation, uh, the physics I mean, from simulation to arcade. We're going to be showing um, a little bit of arcade mode here. And we are going to try a little bit of online so you guys can see what I'm seeing in online right now. But let's go ahead and start right here. Let's start with the championship. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of him. Greetings to all of you. Racket here we are with this the ping pong. Should be a real let's go ahead and start this. See, so I got the ping pong in hand. My serve first. That was just bad serving by me, but that's fine. One and one. Oh, that one Ooh. will make some trouble. This guy's definitely a little harder than the last guys I played. Damn, he's nailing me right now. Got him. He's messing up now. He maybe got nervous. Ah. Oh. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Oh, I can't believe I did that two times in a row. Just give him two free points. Serving is something I'm still getting used to in this game. Next rally, if I could just play this game without serving, I'd be golden. Hey, and we won set one. Got to win two out of three sets here. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that was just bad. That was a good rally, though. I agree with the commentary. Oh, I almost had him on the edge. Come on with this 3 nothing. There you go. Psych. Back at it. Let's go. Third three. Damn it, I'm missing that corner. Damn it, I hit my side twice. Maybe swung and missed. Got him again. Don't get mad. You tripped on the table. It's all right. Damn it, I did it again. Oh. 
Oh boy. Match point. Hey! So we beat him 2-0. That was good. So you can see that the championship it has like the one we're doing now it unlocked the other guys so you go through these and then you unlock different championships as you go through uh they get really hard because i've played this game on pc before so definitely expect some hardness there and you got practice one that you can play with but this game also actually has online and it actually hasn't been that bad to find people even on the east coast where people just got home from work there's nine people online you can scroll through and uh isn't bad so let's go ahead and go to East so I can show you guys what I've seen. Um, that was with a friend. So you can play with friends as well. You can even search in the background if you wanted to. Uh, apparently that kid left. You can search in the background and continue waiting for other people. What's up? All right, let's see how this goes. So you could already see what I'm going to be complaining about in this game. Uh, that happens throughout this whole entire online match. Let's continue. Is that it's not smooth? Like he's not seeing that ball. He's not just missing it. He's not seeing that ball come to him, and that's why he's not hitting it. A lot of points just get. That was actually a good hit. But see, a lot of points just get missed, and a lot of points just get thrown to your opponents for no reason. Like, I hit that perfectly, and I just got a points loss. It's on camera for everyone to see. He hit the ball over, I hit it on the first hit, and I lost the point for God knows what reason. Another one. Like, it makes no sense at all. There's obviously sync issues. Look, you can see that. He obviously hit it right on his paddle, and he never hit it for whatever reason. Online, at least every time I've played, is exactly like this. Completely broken. That one I actually lost. That was a good hit. Sometimes it works fine. Out of no... Out of no... I don't know. Out of no reason at all. And then other times it just doesn't. It randomly just happens, and it's been happening in every single match that I've played. And for anyone who's going to blame it on the internet connection, it ain't that. Because my internet connection uh, is like 400 down. That was a good hit, too. It's like 400 uh, up and like 75 down, so... What's going on right now? Like, how is that a point lost? That's not a point lost either. Like, you see how this is happening. Like, you hit it perfectly fine, goes to my side, and I get a point lost. Like, I'm going to be talking about this more towards the end of the video when I get to my review portion of this. Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. And it's unfortunate because when the online works, it works well. Like that, that volley right there obviously was perfectly fine. But then other times it just spazzes out and doesn't work.
Like, how is that a point lost? Nobody knows. Alright, who knows what's going on. Shall we begin? So you guys can see how that is and how the online is completely broken. I'm actually surprised on, on the fact that there's actually people online playing with how bad it is. Maybe like one out of ten games you'll get a perfect game. I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, but like I said, I have perfect internet connection. My router is right next to me. Uh, but either way, let's go to the table and talk about this. Let me take this headset off and we'll talk about this some more in my full review here at the end. So let's go ahead and do this now. Alright guys, so that was Racket Fury Table Tennis on the Oculus Quest. Now, as you can see in the gameplay, I really love the actual gameplay of this game when it's actually working. Playing single player against these robots is probably worth the price of admission on its own um, that they're asking for in this title because there's a lot of very... Obviously, it gets increasingly difficult and you can have fun with just playing the starter cup that I was playing um, and, you know, you'll still have a fun time playing and it's not, like, super duper hard, but it can get really challenging once you get to the third or fourth cup there. Um, that I'm still having trouble with com finishing completely again uh, on the Oculus Quest because uh, the game's hard when you get to that last cup and you're trying to fight these guys out. You know, you have to really be perfect to be able to beat them. And obviously you get a star ranking for each one, uh, so there's that as well. Um, the only way to basically get three stars is I found out. Even We only got two stars in the one that we actually beat them twice in a row. But it actually depends how many points he actually lets you that you actually let him get against you too. Um, so... There's that. The graphics really transfer over really well for the Oculus Quest for a game like this. The controls work perfectly fine. Um, in single player, I had no issues at all. I really love being able to play ping pong on the Oculus Quest and now being able to play this game everywhere, anywhere I want and anytime uh, is exactly the game that should be on the Quest and I was really excited to have this part of the launch lineup because in general, I really like Wreck of Fury. Uh, you know, when it was just a single player game because they only added multiplayer a few, uh, I believe it was a few months ago. Uh, it was a single player game for a long time. And I still bought it and still had a ton of fun just going through the single player because I love the arcade. This is not, even though they have simulation and arcade, and simulation is definitely more serious than the arcade mode, that the arcade style in here. It's definitely more towards the arcade style regardless. It's not pure 100% simulation like some of the other games like Eleven that's supposedly coming on the quest as well. This is more in the arcade style action and I really like that because it, it makes the game more fun. That doesn't mean the, phys the physics are any more wonky or anything like that and the, the ball doesn't react how it should. It's just more on the arcade side. You can see that just by the presentation. You can see that when you hit them, uh, you know, the ball has some sort of force when you're heading down. It's not obviously perfect one-to-one -one simulation, but... Um, I still had a lot of fun with this game um, in single player. Now, moving on to the multiplayer, you can see what my complaint is about this game in the video that I just showed you guys. I have played 10 matches on here. I had no problem connecting to people. There's, a lot, there's always people playing this game. I don't know why or how uh, because I'm still confused, and I know people have reported similar issues as mine when I went on Reddit and you know had conversations with people. I'm not the only one out there. And I tried to reach out to the developer and let them know, you know, through Twitter, through through all those different channels, but I haven't heard back anything on if they plan on, if they're aware of this and they plan on fixing it or what the case is. Um, but it's really disappointing because when the game is actually working, when you have those rallies that actually work perfectly online, it's a really, really fun to game to be able to finally play online with other people. So I really hope that they're actually working behind the scenes and fixing it uh, because... As it is, it's completely broken. Like I said, I played 10 matches, I'm sitting 5 feet away from my router, have 400 up and 75 down. I have no internet connection issues with any other game I ever have uh, across all my consoles or anything like that. So it's not, I know it's not an internet-related issue, and there, I doubt it's an internet-related issue on the other side for the other person because, like I said, it's happened through all 10 matches um, that I've played on here. Every single time, it's just as bad as what you guys saw in the video. It's never any better or worse for me. It's always been the same. It's been bad. So definitely don't buy this game if you're looking for an online 
uh, play, at least not right now, until you see some updates happening with this game where they're actually fixing it. And I hope they do. Um, but it is cross-compatible with the Rift users and on the Oculus Quest, which is nice. So if they ever get the online to actually fun uh, function, uh, it's nice to be able to have cross-platform play on there. But as far as everything else, guys, if you guys like ping pong, this is a great game on the Oculus Quest. There's nothing else on there right now that you can play anyway. Definitely more in the arcade style. Just don't get it for online until they get it fixed. Other than that, guys, if you guys have any questions about anything you guys saw, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Gaming tech, gaming tech, is the gaming tech, gaming techie, gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie.